Scorpio, welcome to your gentle love reading. I hope you are well and that the new year is treating you well. Uh, I have a new tarot deck, Tarot of Mystical Moments, loving it, and I have a new baseline just for it. But we're going to start off with the oracles like we usually do. You know, I thought of you, the collective. I was like, I'm going to share this with Scorpio. I was accused, Scorpio. Je accuse. I was accused. Apparently, I used too many adjectives. Yeah. Straight up. Real story. I was accused of using many an adjective. Apparently, using words that are relatable to people to help them understand difficult concepts is a little too much. Feel free to share your thoughts on that. <laughs> Show me what I need to see for these about Scorpio energy. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please. Excuse me while I take a moment to laugh. Oh, sorry. I pull it back. I just want to share that. I think it's a special moment. It's like Scorpio is going to appreciate this. I know we love sarcasm. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. It is true. I am self-professed verbose. I am. That's very true. But I think relatability is important. So yeah, we use adjectives around here. Words and such. <laughs> yeah, we use words and such. Show me that uh, energy, please. Show me that Scorpio energy, please. What's going on for Scorpio? <laughs> Show me that Scorpio energy, please. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. What's going on? Show me Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, no, no, no. If you're new to my channel, I prefer it when I fully flip or hit the table. I like decided energy. What's going on with your energy? The hair font. Some of you might have Taurus in your chart. Spiritual energy. Grounded energy. Commitment energy. Okay? The greater extent of the thing. In the spiritual realm as well as here in this lifetime. Okay? What are we committing ourselves to? What are we dedicating ourselves to? Spiritually or otherwise? In a relationship or otherwise? Okay, that's some big energy right there. All right, what's going on? Let's let's keep digging. The hermit, let me know. That's earth energy right there. I think I saw that for you. Didn't I see that for you? Right towards the end? Yes, it was. It was your intimate terror right towards the end there. It pulled up heavy references to hermit as well as the hair font, if I remember. Okay, what else, please? And thank you so much for this, your support on that, uh, especially my commenter who congratulated me on nearly two hours worth of Scorpion material. I thank you. <laughs> that one done wiped me out, as I think was apparent. <laughs> what else, please? 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 What else is going on? What else is going on, please, in that Scorpio energy? What's going on? You're thinking about something that is both spiritual and committed. What else is going on, please? Could be in your commitment, sure. Could be that you were thinking about commitment in the general sense. Come on, man, focus. What is this? The hermit, I'm telling you, it was meant to be. Wow, heavy earth energy in here. Virgo, uh, Taurus, you might have those placements specifically in your chart. Some of you are doing some deep healing on your commitment. Or rather, what commitment means to you. Some of you are coming back into alignment with that spiritual energy. You might have been disconnected from it for a long time. Um, some of you might have gone away and purposely not activated your more committed energy because it was in a place of healing. You didn't know if you could. You didn't know if you could commit. You didn't know if you could be open or available to a commitment. And that's exactly what you're healing from now. It's quite active. It could be if a commitment recently ended, you might be that you're trying to heal from it. It feels different. It feels different. And if a commitment recently ended, I am sorry. I mean, you're actively healing from it. It feels a little different from that. It feels more like it's coming from the perspective of you trying to understand that spiritual energy and commitment energy and what it looks like in your life and if you're gravitating towards it or not. Okay. Contemplation of commitment and how does it fit into your life and do you want it? And what does it look like? Have you healed from old issues and attachments that can free you up into new ones? Something more like that. Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on with you. This very interesting, heavy earthbound energy for you. Okay? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. And your ideas of commitment are changing, possibly. 
healing yourself to old attachments, though, that we might make room for new ones. What's going on for that Scorpio energy? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio. Ooh. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're doing what you need to do in the meantime, of course. That's not a surprise at all. Keeping things on the balance, keeping things on the level. Don't get me wrong. That's always going to be apparent for you. I know you're doing what you need to do in the day-to-day -day world. Your current energy, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, a hair font. Ah, oh, so it is on your mind, isn't it? Uh-huh. Page of Swords, you had very minor interest in the recent past about anything bigger than your Nine of Pentacles, your current self. You've been single and very happy to be single. Your energy's starting to shift. Your mind is wondering if it's not opening up to a more committed energy now. You've been happy and single on your own for some time. And you weren't too terribly curious about it with the Page of Swords? Scorpio's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm right here. I'm happy. I'm free. I'm single. I'm good. Let me show you are. I see the Nine of Pentacles for you all the time. Comfortable in the garden of your own making and design. You know exactly what it is you put in there because it was under your energy and efforts. In other words, there's nothing in that garden that is a secret or a surprise to you. It's your place of retreat. It is where you are comfortable, and you got very comfortable being comfortable on your own singular, independent, free will energy. And you were not looking to change that. <laughs> not in the recent past, you weren't. Page of Swords. I'm like, I look good. I feel good. I am good. Why would I want to fix what ain't broke? <laughs> Once more, your energy and the bluntness of it always tends to amuse me. Of us, let's be real. I'm that way too. And the hair font is in the future. Your energy starting to shift from a more singular energy to a more... Maybe I can be open back up to a commitment. You're contemplating it. We'll see how far it actually goes, but you're in contemplation. You're opening back up to the idea of the spiritually connected and physically connected energy, which is what the hair font represents. It's here twice for you. You're literally healing yourself. I told you. It isn't Scorpio who just had a breakup. It's Scorpio who's recovering from what looks like singlehood. You being on your own and being accustomed to being on your own. This is very common for you. Because again, and I have to say this over and over again, you don't just jump cups. You will have very strong periods of being single, unavailable, content, celibate, you name it, across the board. And now you're wondering if it's not time to open back up to commitment energy. Scorpio, I apologize for that quick cut, and I mean very quick cut. I needed to take care of something really quick. Daughter's home from school. So I had to break there. Life necessitates. I know you understand. Okay. Is there anyone surrounding? Is there anyone surrounding? Scorpio that is provoking this sense of direction. Is there anyone around Scorpio who is provoking this? Or is there anyone surrounding Scorpio? Is there anyone presenting this to Scorpio? I can't tell if this is just something that you are casually opening yourself up to because you've been healing from it, you've taken your time with it, or if someone's helping provoke this or coax this from you. Show me, Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy. Is there anyone surrounding? Is there anyone surrounding? Who is surrounding? Page of Wands. Someone who has their eye on you. King of Cups. Could be fellow water sign. Um, they're heartbroken. Three of Swords. Why? 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 Why are they heartbroken? Jesus, have you even met them yet? <laughs> they have their eye on you. I know that. Page of Wands, they have their eye on you. You see the inquisition there, the inquisitiveness, the curiosity. They have a big heart space when it comes to you, the King of Cups. Could be a fellow water sign or just someone who has that kind of uh, equal sense of strong feeling towards you. But they're showing Three of Swords. Like, I want to know why. I want to know why. God, they have such big feelings for you. And you're just now in this place where you're opening up to a stronger connection, committed energy on the spiritual level and so forth. And uh, you both opened with a page, so they are aware of you. I can see them actively looking at you. Which is funny, because in this deck, they kind of flip it around the page of wands. Because, if you will realize, 
and I've been saying this forever, Page of Wands is curiosity. No one's very curious about you. There's a sadness attached to them when they look at you. I don't know what that is. But it's coming from a real sincere place. Uh, you have to know each other. I'm sure you do. Your energy is just kind of casually unfolding into a contemplation of maybe I'm time, it's time to get back into a strong relationship or a connection or committed energy. So I want to know why they have a Three of Swords attached to them. It's like when they look at you, they're heartbroken or something. This is so soft and oddly romantic. It's so soft and oddly romantic and sad. Is there a connection between you two? I don't know. I really don't know. We don't find out, though. Show me what I, I can't wait to dig into this. This is... Some of the, the energy that, that you share, it may not be much. I don't know. Eight of Pentacles. You two have a working energy. The Emperor. Someone who's strong-willed. Masculine energy. In this deck, it contains two emperors, and a feminine and a masculine. This one has a masculine attached to it. They've tried to work with you and compromise with you. They have a certain energy or this willingness to work with you, and it's a struggle, but they keep doing it. They're determined to work with you, okay, whoever that emperor is. It could be boss energy, eight of pentacles, emperor. But they have this thing where it's caution, it's caution, it's caution in this context, caution. They don't want to disrupt the balance, they don't want to push you. They don't want to push you. They have big feelings for you. And they are determined, the emperor, somebody here is determined to work with you. You're kind of over here, I'm, I'm contemplating coming out of my kind of cocoon. I'm contemplating entering commitment energy. I'm contemplating taking things to the next level. I've done a lot of work in healing. I feel like this person knows that. Um, because they're not trying to come off as pushy or imposing. But they, there's the absolute, the emperor is determined to work with your energy. Like they are determined to engage you, even if it's difficult. Determined to work with you. I don't know who this is, but that's a lot of determination. That's compromising energy. Sometimes it's strategic, and it sometimes it feels like a battle of wills, but it's like they're determined to stick it out and try to work with you. But there's a much softer energy surrounding them. It hurts them sometimes. <sighs> Overalls the lovers. Okay. Well, that explains the determination straight away. Um, there's a very strong connection here overall. So that's why it's like they haven't given up on you or something like that. They haven't given up on you. Okay. You might be dealing with Gemini. You might have some Gemini in your chart. It's like when they watch you, it hurts them so much that they have big feelings for you and they don't dare show it. They have this frustration element here. I'm determined to work with Scorpio. I'm determined to work with Scorpio. And if that's true, that would explain the lover's energy overall. I gotta see this, man. I gotta see this. This is... It's fascinating. <sighs> they might want more with you. No, they're waiting for you to come out of your shell or getting back into a place where you are receptive to somebody else's energy, which is actually exactly where you are. You're healing um, from old commitments and relationships and things like that. Because here you are at your leisure, casually considering, maybe I'm ready to open back up. Maybe I'm ready for a commitment. Right? I think I've healed. I think I'm healing. I'm feeling a little receptive to somebody else's energy. Okay? Let's see where that goes. Let's see where that goes. Let's see where that goes. Somebody needs to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Scorpio. I do feel like somebody is very much romantically and otherwise longing for you. And they have this determination to work with you, work with you, work with you. And it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. But the Emperor is not allowing that to show. Uh, it is a lover's connection. Which, if you've heard me say it before, is a multi-layered bonding system. Which means it's complicated. 
okay? And this person seems determined to work with you and or stick it out in some way. Um, I do feel like they're waiting for your energy to open up and it hurts them. It hurts them to continue to watch you and, and just have all these big feelings for you that largely go unexpressed. An emperor energy. The moon. Mm-hmm. That's the moon energy shit you were dealing with was your personal truth is swords of the moon. Okay? That's why you had a casual eye on shit and that's why you weren't looking to be in a relationship. Is because you were dealing with your personal truth under the moon. In other words, you didn't have space for a relationship. And you knew it, so that's to your credit. You knew you didn't have space for anything. You were working out your personal truth, Ace of Swords, and the Moon. You were dealing, in other words, with your own shit. You taking a walk down Moon Avenue is different from other people. You can handle it. You're very equipped. And that's exactly what you were doing. This is the reason why you weren't looking around for love interests or love prospects or relationships. You were dealing with your own personal fucking truth. And it's under the Moon. You might have some Pisces in your chart. You could have been dealing with Pisces. I don't know. But you were dealing with your own particular truth. Okay, this is the shit I got to sort out, and this is my business. Go away. So that's why you were not receptive to anyone else's energy, and that's why you were very comfortable in your own garden for a long time. Again, you're, you're very blunt energy, okay? You're opening back up, however, to commitment energy or relationship energy, uh, but not in the recent past. Absolutely hell not. You were working on your personal truth. It's there. It's plain as day. Again, you're very comfortable walking by the light of the moon. You were dealing with your own personal truth. You were sorting your own personal shit. Okay, show me this nine of pentacles, please. Show me this nine of pentacles, please. Like I said, you don't just jump cups. You take your time. You will not rush and you will not be rushed. Okay, nine of pentacles. Ah, the queen of cups. Okay. You felt very good on your own, don't get me wrong, but it was through this recovery period of being alone, which is what you needed, is when your heart space started to open back up comfortably into a Queen of Cups mode. In other words, your your heart space is relaxing, okay? Now that you've taken the time to break away, discover your personal truth, do the necessary healing that you needed to do, you're recovering much better, much faster. Okay, you had to do it alone. Again, this is why you just don't jump around, around in relationships. You know healing comes from within, not from without. You took your time, you did your work. And because you took that time to isolate, and because you took that time to be single, and because you took that time to discover your personal truth about commitments and, and other things and relationships in the general sense, your heart space is opening back up in a very warm place. Okay, yeah, there it is. You feel much more yourself now. You feel more capable of going back out into the world and generating a new Four of Wands. It wasn't there before, but it is now. Because you took the time to honor yourself and your needs, okay, your heart space is opening back up warmly. All right? It's, it's much better now. In other words, because you took the necessary time. All right? You did what you do as death. I saw it here already. You did what you do as death, and you took the necessary time out to recover Examined relationships, how you attach, how you unattach, what went wrong and why. Understanding, you know, I think we had that discussion in one of your other general love readings about it's not the goal that was the problem. It was the person that was attached to that goal, right? There's something about that that you understood. Um, show me what else, please. Your heart space is opening back up very warmly. It seems to be going back into a living state, okay? And that's because you took the necessary time out to sort your shit out and to be comfortable on your own before you go into something new. And now your energy is contemplating that very fuck off. The hair, the, that just split. That just fell down. There's the hair font again. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. That's exactly what you're thinking about. Twice. It's here. Yeah. So now you are back in this place where you're now being receptive to that spiritual and committed energy. Okay? Future orientation, it's right around the corner. Your heart space is very receptive, it's very open, it's very warm, and it's very adjusted. Okay? You did the necessary work, good for you. Okay? Good for you. You did the necessary work, you're in a much better space. Oh, okay. I was told to stop shuffling. <laughs> the hanged man. Knight of Wands. Oh, we are feeling better, aren't we? Oh my. Mm -hmm. I like that. You can't see it yet, but yeah, you're open to it. You can't see it yet, but you're open to it. That's, I love that square field energy. There you go. <laughs> 
yeah, you're open to it. You can't see it yet, but in your estimation, it's a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Before you find something you're excited about. Before your energy peaks on somebody. Okay. The hair font, it's going to be the commitment energy, the spiritual energy, plus your natural excitement, your intensity with that Knight of Wands. It's just a matter of time. Three of Wands, there's hope on that horizon. You're looking forward to it. You can't see it yet, but yeah, you're open to it. You're open to new connections. You're open to new commitments. Okay. Um, you want to be excited again, and you got your heart into a good space. You're literally looking forward to it. You can't see it yet. Okay, but it's there. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. You can't see it yet. You don't know all the details, but you know it's coming. You can feel it. And uh, it's really just a matter of time in your estimation. I like your enthusiasm. It's just a matter of time. You're open to it again. Okay? Good job. Good job. You don't know when. You just know it's gonna. But you're open to it. Yes, you are. You are open to it. Anything else, please, about Scorpio's energy? Anything else, please, about Scorpio's energy? Like always, your energy just tends to be, yeah, you are open to new relationship commitment energy. It's there. Ten of Cups, Knight of Wands, Water and Fire, the best of both worlds. Uh, but in a real world, committed energy under the hair font. You want to be emotionally balanced with somebody, Ten of Cups. You want to be turned on by that person with the Knight of Wands energy, and you also want it to be legit with the hair font. It's pretty straightforward. You are literally open to it. It's a matter of time. You just can't see it yet, and you admit that. But yeah, your energy is very much open to it. Okay? See what happens when you put in the work? Right? You're in a much better place. You're more receptive now to relationship and commitment energy than you were in the recent past. You were very fine on your own. You did what you had to do for healing. You sorted your shit out. Congratulations. Uh, that's more than what a lot of people will say or can say. All right? Mm. You want the real deal. It looks like it's coming too. Let's check out this person. They have a huge soft spot for you. It's almost like it hurts them to look at you. What or who is this? They do keep their eye on you. Why is that such a strong sense I'm working with Scorpio? I've got to work with Scorpio. I've got to work with Scorpio. Um, I don't know. Show me this person, please. The one that's surrounding, the one that's surrounding. Show me this person. Who is this? Show me this. Some of this page of wands, please. Who is this? They keep their eye on you in the recent past, and as far as I can tell, not much has changed. I, I don't want to sound cheesy, Scorpio, because that's not my thing. It's not my thing. But even though it's not my thing, doesn't make it any less of a reality. That's the impression I'm getting. I feel like someone fell in love with you by watching you. I don't know how else to put that. I don't mean it in a creepy way. It's just is. It's somebody's reality. They have big feelings for you and it causes them pain. Like they fell in love with you just by watching you. Something like that. Oh. That's that special somebody, isn't it? This, of course, is a le lesser representation of the lovers. Six. Lovers is six. It's that uh, special somebody of the past. Six of Cups. You two are very bonded. Someone of the past. I'm not going to assume at all that this is the person that you disconnected from. I don't feel like it's that. It doesn't feel like it's that. It's something different. Six, six, six. Yeah. Very strong lover's energy here. June might be important, to say the least. Gemini season, um, which is late May into June. Okay, little FYI. Gemini season slash June. Might be important to some of you. I swear to God, this person, this Six of Cups, it could be an ex, don't get me wrong, but obviously it runs much deeper than that. Someone who can't stop watching you, and as they watch you, they develop feelings for you, and it simultaneously breaks their heart. Jesus Christ. Gosh. 
You've known each other a long time. It's a unique emotional signature. This is already complicated. This is a unique emotional signature, which implies memories, which means you know them. Past value. Yeah, they know you. And they love you. Okay, show me this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups, please. It is someone of the past value who watches you in present day. They have big feelings for you and it causes them pain simultaneously. Show me King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups, please. That's hardcore, man. That's hardcore. I'm half in love with this person now because of their intensity. Jesus. Page of Swords with the Moon. Yeah. It's their biggest secret. Jesus. It's their biggest secret. It's their biggest secret that they watch you. They have very strong feelings for you. It's their biggest secret. It's under the moon. Could be Pisces, fellow water sign. But again, someone who has a big heart space for you. And it is someone of the past value attachment with that six of cups. You have memories. You have shared cups. Whoa. It's their biggest secrets. Their feelings are their biggest secrets. How much they watch you is their biggest secret. Oh, honey. Oh, God. Oh my god. Of course, my weird, fucked up, romantic side being what is, I'm half in love with this person with how much they love you. Jesus. Whoa. I wasn't expecting all this today. Again, your readings continue to go in one direction where your shit's straightforward. <laughs> and the person surrounding you is not that at all. Your stuff is really straightforward. You worked your shit out. Okay? Old commitments and things that didn't work out. You're literally healing from old commitments. You're not... That, mm, you're, you're healing yourself to things in the past. You've done a damn good job of it. You sorted your shit out. You went into the moon energy, your particular moon energy, and said, this is my truth and I'm dealing with it. And you took your time. As I said, you will not rush and you will not be rushed. You were very comfortable on your own, and it was that same comfort level with yourself that allowed your heart space to open back up safely and maturely and be open to new connectivity. But not just any connectivity. No, no, no. Ten of Cups with the hair font and also, P.S., they need to turn me on. <laughs> Which is you. You pull up Knight of Wands all the time. It's the representation of the intensity. So it's not just the love you want, the fire, and then also, P.S., the real world energy of the hair font. Like, make it legit or go away. And to you, in your estimation, it's just a matter of time. That's it. You guys are longing for it. You're even longing for it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But you know you want it. So you're aiming yourself towards it. Gorgeous. Beautiful. You sorted your shit out. You understand what you want your future commitments to look like. Congratulations to you. Someone surrounding you who has a Six of Cups attachment to you. Memories. Shared memories. Space. Time and space. Once upon a time, memories. Page of Wands, they watch you with intensity, with curiosity. It is their biggest secret or their biggest feelings for you. They watch Page of Swords as active watching. Um, what it is they're trying to learn, I do not know. But it seems to be directly involved with you, and it directly affects their emotionality. It almost breaks their hearts to watch you as much as they do. This is intense shit. This is intense shit, man. And how much they love you is their biggest secret. It's like their biggest secret. It just goes into such a deep place. <sighs> Three of Swords. Holy shit. They've told themselves to walk away from it a thousand times. Stop, 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 stop. I feel like, is this a continuation from last time? Is that what that is from your intimate tarot? I told you that person was a lot more complex than we understood. Um, show me that three of swords, please. Show me that three of swords. Show me that three of swords. Show me that three of swords. Where's this person's pain coming from? Show me the pain. Show me the three of swords, please. Show me this three of swords, please. 
Show them that three of swords, please. It's the reflection. Seven of Pentacles, it's the reflection of the Nine of Cups. That's so sad. It's the reflection. Understanding what made them happy. That's the source of their pain. I asked specifically what's causing it. It's the reflection of what it is that made them happy. What they had managed to accumulate with you, but it was to a certain point. It didn't develop further. It's the idea of what could have made me happy. Fuck. This is what could have made me happy. Three swords, that's the source of their pain. This is what could have made me happy. This is what I wanted. Why didn't I develop it? Why didn't I develop it? Why didn't I develop it? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm heartbroken for this person. <laughs> There's no anger here. There's no aggression here. It's sadness for loss and how much feeling for you and how much they have to keep it secret. And there's the reflection of Seven of Pentacles in this deck. It's the reflection on what was accumulated and how it made them happy. And it causes them pain that they didn't take it further because it's still the Seven of Pentacles in the classic representation of stagnation. So we can reflect upon what we had managed to accumulate with Scorpio, but it's in the reflection of the past. This is what could have made me happy had I developed it further. Okay. It causes this person pain. Oh, God. Honey, I don't do this shit, okay? This is not the tarot reader I am on YouTube when everybody uses an exclamation. Scorpio, you won't believe it! Exclamation point! I don't do that shit. Real tarot reflects real life. But this is reality for somebody somewhere. Okay, and I, I, I know someone is deeply and secretly in love with you. That's all I know. It's deeper, deeply, deeply secret. It goes into a place personal. It's it's very personal, and you two have some sort of precedence with each other, that Six of Cups energy. Lovers overall, and that would also explain why I'm seeing somebody who refuses to give up, and they will work with you under any conditions. So that's intense, man. That's intense. So I'm not a fucking drama reader, and I don't just put shit in captions to get your attention. Scorpio, you won't believe this mega huge secret. You won't believe it. It'll blow your mind. I don't do that. If you've been around my channel, you know that. You know to expect the real shit from me. And I'm telling you, this is the real shit. Someone is deeply and secretly in love with you. And is someone of the past value. Let's we'll see if we can tie this together, honey. I'm sorry, if you are, if you support me, first of all, on my alternative channel, Whispering Stacks, thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, I love it. it. What's bringing to mind from that is someone who recently brought up a, a piece, a classical piece by Litz, and this is exactly what's bringing to mind is that particular piece. It's, um, I apologize, I don't have it right in front of me, but, um, someone who's very much in love with someone else. And it feels unrequited to them and it causes them a lot of pain. It's bringing that to mind. It was mind-blowing to me. I hadn't had that reference in a long time. Uh, and to see it again is phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. I'm going to be using that at some point. But I, I want you to look that up. God, I'm sorry. I'll try to remember to put it in the comment section. It's bringing that to mind so strongly right now. I'm going to share that with you. It's so obscure. I apologize for that. I will try to detail it. Uh, in the dis I'm the comment section, but it is definitely unrequited love, and it causes pain as well as pleasure. Somebody's at war with themselves and deeply in love with someone else. I am so sorry. I'm not into the drama stuff, honey, but this, it's not dramatic. This is real, and it's painful. It's, it's real, and it's painful for this person. It's real, and it's painful, and I promise you I'm highly sympathetic to the human experience. Okay, I'm extremely empathic. Um, 
Yeah. And that has nothing to do with having special powers. You are either empathetic or you're not. Um, oh, Jesus. Whoa. It's their deepest secret. And what could have been. Some of the connection between you two on the out front, what they actually present in the real world is emperor energy. I'm in charge. I'm in commanding. I know what's up. I know what's going on. Um, I'm willing to work and compromise. It could be you, but let's take a look. It's, it's shared energy, so you both probably carry over some aspects. Show me this. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Emperor. Show me this energy between you two. What the hell is going on here? Show me what it is I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, between these two. Some of this Eight of Pentacles, this compromising working energy, you two might know each other in the work context, true enough. I have every reason to believe that. And that would straight up cause the conflict, and that would explain the constant exposure to you and how they keep an eye on you. But that doesn't explain the Six of Cups, though, unless you two have been working together a very long time. Um, some of this Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay. The Hermit. Ooh. No. Oh my. Okay. Oh my. Okay. This person, I believe it's them, have told themselves to work with you in any way possible. So long as it means staying connected to you, I swear to God I'm going to cry. I'm trying not to. Um... My lovers and the hermit, again, very strong Virgo, very strong Taurus energy. It's the idea I'm going to work with this person. I'm resolved upon that in any way that they will allow me into their life. Oh, oh, honey. Cancer does this shit to me all the time. Don't you start. Don't you fucking start. <sighs> it doesn't matter under any function, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I will work with Scorpio or they work with me under any capacity. I don't care. They've already resolved upon this, the hermit. Wh whatever way they allow me into their life, I'm going to work with them. They've already resolved upon this. So they may not know that you're opening back up. They may not know. They may not know. They may not know that you're open to a relationship. They may not know. I know they keep a very strong eye on you, enough so that it causes them pain and that they're in love with you and it's their biggest secret. I don't know if this is the person you had to recover from. I haven't seen that bridge yet. I haven't. But it could be. It could be. This person that you broke away from, that you had to heal from, that you had to sort your own shit out with, the Ace of Swords of the Moon, the things you had to be so confrontational with yourself about, your personal truth about love, life, and God knows what else. It, it could very well be that person. The one that you had to work so hard to recover from and be so confrontational about with yourself. And why you had to take so much recovery and time off so you could feel more comfortable in your feelings again so you could feel safe in your ace uh, your, I'm sorry your queen of cups energy again so that way you could trust committed in relationship energies again it could be that person <sighs> they didn't invest further and they regret that and they reflect about what could have been happy or what made them happy with you some of this five of wands please I don't know Page of Cups, they have to fight. There's a fight here in their instincts and what they feel and how much to invest and so forth. But under any capacity in which they can know you, Knights of Swords. Okay, so there is communication here, but it's not substantial. Um, the expression of feeling is minimized. That goes without saying, and it feels like it's a strategic with this person. Show me this Emperor, please. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. There is confusion, to say the least. They have obligations as well. What they are, I don't know, but they're substantial. 
they have a fair amount of obligations attached to their energy, but they're determined to give you what they can. Okay, there is a guarded sense of feeling here. Okay, and the communication's not great, but it's again under any allowance that I can work with Scorpio's energy, I'll take it. Um, there's a lot of things they cannot see through yet. Particularly through their own committed energy. Why? Why is there so confusion? So much confusion. The Empress, they might be tied to someone else. The Emperor and Empress. They might be tied to someone else. Is this someone you broke away from? They didn't take the relationship further and they wish they had and now they're kind of with someone else? Is that what that is? Okay. Okay. That explains a lot. Like everything, to be honest. This is someone you had to break away from. It was substantial enough that you went to a place of single solitude retreat. Okay, Scorpio's fortress of solitude, as it were, which you were very comfortable with, and the process worked for you, so I'm not criticizing it. It worked for you. Job done. All right? Whenever I can say job done, that's a good thing. You did your shit. You recovered from what looks like they pulled up a hermit. Hierophant, it was some kind of very strong connection. How far it went, I don't know. What the relationship value was, I don't know. But I know it was deep enough or intense enough that you had to pull away from it. You had to become your own individualized self so you could put your heart space back where it needed to be. You're just now opening up to this idea of new relationship energy, okay? You're just now opening up to it. With the hair font, the ten of cups, you were willing to consider a new one. You seem to even be enthusiastic about it. The person who you break away from, the person you need to recover from, um, they're, 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 it's their biggest secret. Not only do they have the old attachment to you with the Six of Cups, that's in past orientation. They continue to keep an eye on you this day, and it breaks their heart. Like, they're very much in love with you, and it's their biggest secret. And also, why didn't I take this further? I knew this would have made me happy. Right? The energy you share between you two, I don't think you know half of this. Not this. It's so deeply private. It's so deeply private. I don't think you know. They have a kind of workable compromising energy with you in present day where the minimization of feelings is exactly that. It's kept minimal. It's under this person's direction as emperor, it feels like. And that's because they themselves are grossly preoccupied in something else. They chose someone else or they're with someone else. I don't know. But it has the gross preoccupation of their energy. Their only determination with you is to compromise with you and just to be a part of your life in any way that you allow them. Again, that workable energy, work with me, work with me, work with me, work with me. And they've resolved upon that as the hermit, again, heavy Virgo energy. Um, and then we have Gemini here, not once but twice. Excuse the overhead noise, like I said, my daughter's home. Um, it's They seem to be willing to work with you at any capacity. It doesn't matter how little you show them, they'll take it. They don't feel good about it, but they'll take it. What else can they do? Their energy seems to be locked in on someone else. <laughs> Okay. Their energy seems to be locked in on it. They either chose someone else or they broke away with you <clears throat> enough so that it caused you pain and you went to full retreat. Okay. You said no relationships, no commitments, no nothing. I need to recover. And they're either with someone else or they chose someone else. And that's the idea with this person. It's causing them pain in the future that they didn't develop more because they could have had more with you by now. Um... They have a very strong, brave face. I will say that. The Emperor always does. But they have a connection that takes up the priority of their time. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. They're so busy they can't see straight. Something like that. Again, it's after school hours. Daughter's home from school. Okay. Excuse the overhead noise. <laughs> Trust me, she's very excited. <laughs> okay. 
the lovers is the overall energy reflected back, uh, back on this person that is the hermit that's reflected back from the person whom you're showing recovering energy towards. It took a lot out of you. It made you question yourself, your truth. It made you very much question your personal truth, this connection. That's how I know it impacted you. It made you question your personal truth. What your feelings are. What does energy look like? What does relationship energy look like to you? What does commitment energy look like to you? That's how I know it impacted you. So much so that you had to retreat to sort your shit out. That's how I know how impactful this person's energy was. So as quiet as you were, and you were quiet, I promise you, this had very strong residual effects on your energy, enough so that you had to break away from the world just to figure things out. You had to heal from something that was very strong and very powerful. I don't know how far this connection went. I don't know what its value was, but I know it had a direct impact on you. And it was strong, and it might have even been part of your secret space as well. You being who you are, you're not really privy to telling people your personal business. You will often go into a place of retreat to sort your personal shit out, and it could be over the most mundane things. But that also includes the bigger stuff. This person made you question relationships. They made you question your love pattern. They made you question commitments. They made you question all of that. So how far this went, I don't know. But you had to seriously retreat to sort your shit out because you questioned yourself, your feelings, your thoughts, what it is you know about relationships, so on and so forth, until you could feel comfortable again. Your energy is opening back up to relationships. You trust yourself, in other words. And you have a better sense of direction about relationships and what you want to see from them. Cool. But it is tying back to this lovers who is showing up as the hermit. And then also we have the hair font twice. So there you go. Strong earth energy with a touch of Aries and Gemini. But yes, their energy, they chose someone else or they're with someone else or they couldn't choose you. And they wish they had. So I'm not into drama readings, but this is some real shit. They didn't choose you, and it's like they wish they had. And when they look at you, it breaks their heart. It was enough for you that as quiet and as succinct as your energy is, I know it impacted you. It made you question everything. It made you question your personal fucking truth, the Ace of Swords. So I don't know what this is, but it tested your knowledge really hard. Long enough so that you had to retreat to recover from it. This tested your personal fucking knowledge of what you thought relationships were. And it went under your moon energy too. But this is you willing that on. I need to learn. I need to learn. I need to learn. I need to learn. I need to learn the truth. Okay. I don't even know if I have the nerves... Are we big red? Okay. Oh, do I dare look. The lovers is the overall. It's what's embracing all of this. A very strong, powerful connection between you and someone whom you are soul stamped to. It's not just once, but it's twice. A couple times. Six of cups. So I know you know this person of the past, and they're still in your energy. Okay. In other words, they mean a lot to you. Uh, you mean a lot to them as well. I know your energy looks nice and tidy in comparison, I promise you. This connection, whatever it is, had you learn and shit the hard way. Your heart, though, is in a much safer space. It's much more open and receptive. It's going from a singular energy to being opened to a second person. Okay? It's in the contemplated stage of new relationship energy. It looks good, it looks healthy, it looks correct. So whatever it is you learned, you learned it the hard way. And, um... You took from this lesson whatever it is you needed to learn, okay? Because now you're showing receptivity to new relationships. Uh, this person, it looks like you still have communication with them, but the feelings are minimized. There is this idea of I have a working energy with Scorpio. It's the hermit tying back to that energy, the one you had to recover from, strong lover's energy here. It's a compromise. I will work with Scorpio with whatever capacity they allow. I don't feel good about it, but it is what it is. Their energy is grossly preoccupied with someone else. Okay, they chose someone else. 
or they broke the connection for you for the sake of someone else. I don't know what, but it's it's there. And their energy is grossly preoccupied. Okay. Okay. And that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, someone who is in charge and they feel responsible of all things. Okay, they have a lot of responsibility riding on them. But yes, some of the lovers of the overall. Three of Wands, tried to pop out. Some of the lovers for the overall, please. King of Swords. You are, objectively speaking, trying to use your most rational mind about this connection. Trying to keep yourself emotionally detached from it. It's a strong connection. You seem to know that. You acknowledge it. It's one of the things you had to learn. It's a very strong connection and you are aware of it. The King of Swords. Okay. That would explain why you minimize communication with this person or you show so little feeling towards it. Okay. All right. What else, please? Page of Wands, like I said, greatly reduced interest or inquiry. It's done strategically on your part. So you two kind of have a working, compromising energy. Okay? You're very aware of this connection and how strong it is. Intellectually, you understand it with that King of Swords, and that's why you minimize it to pages. It's done intentionally. Um, you don't know, though, Scorpio. This is what you don't know. You don't know. How deeply their feelings run for you. That's what you don't know. You just know that on your end you're trying to be cautious and safe. Because you, for your part, understand how strong the connection is. At least for your side of the equation. So you give it very little room to express itself with that page of wands. Okay? That feels correct to you. I wish I could see a stronger output for you. I just know that you are now in a place where you're open or receptive to new love energy. Um, commitment energy specifically. That is the Ten of Cups. That is the Hair Font. That is the Knights of Wands. You want to love and to be loved. You want to have passion for this person. And you want it to be grounded in reality. This is what you had to learn the hard way. There's something that you had to learn the hard way about relationship value in connection with this person. It is a strong connection. It's not going anywhere. You're always going to kind of feel it. And they're always going to kind of feel you. And while that's a dissatisfying outcome, I'm looking at a Scorpio who is already aware of it. You already have a sort of way of handling this energy that feels safe to you. Because you already had to recover from it substantially. Okay. Um, and just, their energy broke my heart as soon as I saw or put down their cards. I could see it. There's a compromising energy between you two. Communication and outputs minimized. Bare minimum. Okay. Um... It's workable. It's almost kind of like you feel like you have it contained, okay? But you haven't completely cut it off either. Did you notice that? Your card's not here. Death isn't here. Ten of Swords isn't here. I don't really need to see why. It's that undefinable thing. That is a true lover's connection, which is here for you twice, plus the Six of Cups. Um, it makes you feel good. Makes them feel good, too. And also, you marry each other. That's why you haven't... I haven't seen one ending card for you. Did you notice that? Not one Ten of Swords. Not even a Ten of Wands. Not your Death card. Not once. Okay? You both share this this compromising path. However, somebody's energy splits off as a singular entity because they are tied to someone else. That's where their responsibilities lie, and it's not you. Um, but for the most part, the reason why neither one of you has closed it is because you both energetically mirror each other. Um, could be connecting to Sag. Sag might be important. Capricorn. So look, you're moving on. You're open to new relationships. You're open to new commitment. It's looking like you um, kind of keep a safe distance from this person. 
You don't express your love energy towards them. You don't express your fire for them. But you understand the connection's there. And it's never not going to change. Not that way. You haven't gotten rid of it. Neither have they. Neither one of you wants to. But the reason why you're being a king of swords is because you know it can hurt you. You did all this massive recovery from this connection. But not so much that you shut it off. But yes, you are open to new relationship energy. So congratulations to you on that. You are open up to it. Okay? I am sorry this person's in so much pain. And I'm sorry that... Um, and I am sorry. I'm too pleased to empathetic. I, I know that seems stupid, especially if they're tied to someone else. But I promise you... When you have such big feelings that are such a huge secret, nothing feels good about that. I just don't know that you know this. I just see you trying to handle this connection in a kind of responsible fashion, if you will. But I insist this is shared energy. At least up here it is. You both try to work with each other in any way possible. You just don't give too much to the equation either. I don't know that things will change. I don't know. But neither one of you wants to disconnect fully either because those cards aren't here either. Oh, those cards aren't here either, honey. I don't know. It's like they don't know how to see a way out of their situation either. And you also don't know how strong their feelings are. But that's not really your issue or your problem, Scorpio. I just see you trying to contain something that means a lot to you, but you're not allowed to show it. Something like that. But in the general sense, yes, you are open to new relationship energy. You are. Okay. There's that resistance between the strong connection. The lovers and the five of wands. Okay. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. February might be significant for some of you. Also March. And there they are. Two months, Two of Cups roughly translates. So from now that is mid-March, correct? Okay, so for some of you that lover's energy is going to come back around strongly in March. Why? I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. I'm going to keep... Where are we on time? Yeah, I can keep digging a little bit. There's something here, otherwise I wouldn't bother. As with Virgo's reading, which depressed me phenomenally. Um, I would have kept going if there was something worth going for. There wasn't. There is something worth going for here. Mind you, you two are keeping this connection open. You're just not being open about it. You're trying to show safe, safety and caution. Okay? Keep your emotions out of it. You understand the connection strong. That's why you haven't closed it. That's why you haven't gotten rid of it. But neither have they. Two of Cups, yes. Love bond between you and that person. It could literally be Gemini. Heavy Earth references as well. But this is... I'm trying to look at timelines here. So, mid-March might be important to some of you. As well as Gemini season. Which I've seen a couple of times for you already. Possibly upward... Yeah, there's that two months again. Eight of Swords. Two months. For some of you around mid-March, there might be a truth. Ace of Swords. March is a significant marker for some of you. So many. Didn't I say that for you last time? Yes, I did. For some of you, March. I wasn't convinced that it was this year. But for some of you, it damn well will be. For some of you, there might be a significant truth from their lover. That person. That very strong connection. Three times now. <clears throat> In case there was any confusion. And around mid-March. March is going to be a hell of a month for some of us, yeah? Tell me. What about it? Also 26. The lovers of six, as I've mentioned several times, plus two. 26 might be important to some of you. 26th of February, the 26th of March. Yes. I don't know why. The 26th of March for some of you. 
possibly February 26th. Yes. Mirroring aspects, of course. That's repetitious. Four of Wands. 24, 26, but uh, April, of course. Harmonization, though. Four, in the general sense. Four days, four weeks, four months. 26, very strong 26. March, February, April, spring. Page of Pentacles. How so? They're all over this. Six of Cups, Lovers, and it's all in future orientation. What about it? Why is their energy coming so strong? Page of Swords, because they can't stop watching you. Because they can't stop watching you. You become a stronger vision the more they watch you. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. <sighs> okay. You on the split with the stars. <sighs> okay. What's what? Okay. Judgment. Because the, I was, let's just say, why? Why? What's the motivation? I'm trying to understand motivation other than the strong bond, and perhaps that's, the, that's perhaps all the motivation there needs to be is that strong bond is so fucking strong between you two, it's ridiculous. I've seen it here for you multiple times. The timing has to be right. The judgment, the declaration, a call, which again, I think I saw for your intimate tarot, this is that person, I swear to God, they are so complex. There's this idea of an innate call, I need things to be right, I need things to be just so, but also it's a drive, it's a drive, it's a drive, it's a driving force. It's a driving force, man. It's just so big. It's a driving force, man. I'm telling you what, divine timing. Mm -hmm. To open. The call to open the cycle is so strong. Wow. Okay. Second chance, come back. Judgment. To open that cycle again. So just be careful with that, Scorpio. And just because your recovery for this person was so intense and it involved you understanding so much about your personal truths, what you thought relationships meant, what they constituted, what they looked like, what defined them, you questioned all that. You questioned all that. But here's the deal, man. You are very smart. You're very intelligent. I'm looking at a Scorpio who otherwise defaults to an Ace of Swords and a King of Swords. The default to logic when all else fails. Okay? I get that. I understand. I have four placements in Libra. Trust me, I get it. Um, when all else fails and your sense of intuition and feeling fails, you default to logic. Okay? So logically speaking, you did a lot of recovery from this, but also logically speaking, you haven't closed it. I know you feel confident that you can contain it that you can work with this person's energy because the connection is so very strong. So, their, their pull to you is magnificent and it's fierce as fuck. And it's not without justification. It's not without justification. And I'll do seriousness to, in respect to their feelings and their perspective, which I can see more or less. It's like a really strong but rough sketch. Um, their feelings for you are unrequited. And they have a lot of depth to them. And they've tried to minimize it and walk away from it, and they don't fucking want to. I, I, I know that they tried to work with you, and it's... 
and you feel confident in that direction too. I can work with you too. Here's a little bit of communication. Here's a little bit of action. We're going to leave our feelings out of it. You know, but for the most part, I feel I can contain it. You're the lover's energy. We have a strong connection. We have a strong bond, you and I. I don't want to just let you go. But I feel I can work with you. I feel I can contain it, right? That's one of the lessons you had to learn. Time is passing, and that ability to kind of keep things in check is not working. Something in this person's emotional world is taking charge, and is coming forward strongly in the future compared to where it was, where it's like, I'll just do with this. This is what I have to give. That that starts to deteriorate. Okay, and the kind of emotional drive is much stronger. And I don't know what's changing in this person's world, that that instinct is becoming sharper and sharper, but it is. And I feel like we're picking up off your intimate terror. I asked distinctly, and it's like the more they watch you, the more they realize something about the divinity of this particular union or relationship with you. And it's like that there's that's going to reach a pinnacle. Their energy is going to reach a pinnacle of frustration and desire and drive and want and emotional reciprocity. Okay. And it's going to reach a particular zenith where they're going to feel a call to generate that cycle with you. And there are heavy references to March April, and specifically Gemini season, so that covers three, four, five, six. Um, and it is that six of cups, it is that lover's energy, not once, but how many fucking times now? I've kind of lost count. <sighs> you haven't cut them off, they haven't cut you off. I thought I saw finality here, of I got too much going on, this is my life where it is. And then I started doing timeline checks. And I keep seeing the energy pattern. And it's becoming sharper and sharper in the future, not less. Oh, as I tell you. That happens all the time. I can do an hour-long reading where nothing comes from it. I'm like, sorry about that. Catch you on the next one. This is not that. This is not that. The instinct becomes sharper to come back to you. The timing, the divinity cycle to open up. Somebody feels like the timing is now. The timing is nigh. Judgment to the world. I have to open this fucking cycle. Because you are open to a relationship. You are open to connection. You are open to commitment. But it's just after all this work you've done. They seem to be very preoccupied in their own life, but I'm telling you, it could very well be that they're cycling out with that person. I don't know. And that instinct to you is like this. Like that. That call to you, that pull to you. There was this, this, I'm happy to work with Scorpio under any conditions, whatever, I'll take it. I'm not happy about it, but I'll take it. And you have a similar disposition. Their energy branches off because it's preoccupied elsewhere with someone else. That's someone else they chose or they chose to continue with or stay with or cycle with. I don't know. But I do know this. Once somebody starts to generate a cycle, they're going to start closing another one. And that's when the instinct is driven towards you. Like, there's no hesitation. There's no fucking hesitation. For some of you, yes, this year. For some of you, not till next year. I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. For some of you, it is this year. For some of you, it's not until next year. I don't know, but I keep getting March as a distinct marker, and it's driving me crazy. Um, I wish I could take it down. I cannot take it down. I got this for you last time. I wasn't convinced. But I tell you, so much starts to revolve around March when we see the opening of energies. Okay? Lover, six of cups, lover, six of cups, Jesus Christ. There's a reason either one of you closed it. Not officially. Not legit. And why you kind of have that, I'm going to work with them, they're going to work with me under any pretext. It's, it's not the best exchange, but it's what we got, right? And I'm not going to give too much of myself from this. For some of you, September is very strong. Um, and also, again, that two months marker reference. It just depends. Nine of Swords and Nine 
Fuck. Okay, so again, going back to uh, September. Something's going to start generating drastically. Spring. And we might know more completion around September. Who else had that? Wow, 9 and 9. Jesus. For some of you, it might be 18 months from now. Don't shoot me. That's just the way it is. But I'm not convinced of that. I'm not convinced of that at all. 9 and 9, September. But for some of you, they're going to start to prompt a cycle with you come around spring. A little bit. Not overwhelming, just a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, come spring, they might start communicating more or be more consistent in their communication. Um, because perhaps they know they're cycling out with the other person. I don't know. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I Once more, I was not expecting something like this. I, I pushed it as far as I could. Look, all I know is that this thing between you two is not done. It's not closed. And you already know that because you're still involved in it. A little bit. Intellectually speaking, you've decided upon the best course of action regarding that lover's energy. You already know who, so don't ask me who. This is not new. We've made that very clear. This is not new. This is someone whom you've taken your time out of your life to recover from substantially. And they made you question yourself. And they made you question relationships and what they mean and what they look like. That's who I'm talking about. But there's no anger here. There's no frustration. Other than this is kind of what we have to work with. But there's no anger. There's no hate. It's not like that. Remember, you might be a king of swords to this person. But you're still talking to them. Uh, you kind of have this, I got this. I, I can contain this energy. I got it. I won't let my energy slip out again. Something like that. Um, but that's about it. Uh-oh. It's, it's going to reach a point where it's not contained anymore. But it does feel like it's being driven from their side of things. Um, I do feel like this person's energy hits critical mass. Uh, when it comes to you. And there is a second chance written all over this. There's a second chance written all over this. Community. That's that Ten of Pentacles energy we were discussing that you're opening yourself back up to. The number 39 might be important to you. Underlying that, the mature man. Okay? Um, that Yes, that is actually hair font energy, number five. Okay? Um, but yeah, the community sense, you are opening back up to it, being part of something greater, being part of a greater sense of community that comes with full commitment, yes? And there is concern. Where is the concern here? Number 33. Where is this coming from? Where is the concern coming from? Show me the concern. Show me the concern. Where is this concern coming from? High honor. Hmm. Are you going to get the... Yeah, no, don't worry about that, honey. Expectations. Are your expectations ever going to be met? That kind of thing. Okay, are you going to have the real deal, the legitimacy? The answer is yes. Um, I don't think you're necessarily putting it in the context of this person. You have to remember this person's biggest secret is how much they love you, and then simultaneously it hurts them. Okay. I think this is in the general sense of the expectation. Will I ever have the greater thing? The answer is yes. You just don't know it yet. Okay. But yes, you are opening back up to community commitment energy. I see it. Okay. You've done a lot of work. <sighs> Wealthy man, number 13. That's probably you. <laughs> just because 13 is our power number. So, 13 wealthy men, some of you are individually wealthy, or you have property or money in your own right, or you're very good at what you do, or you're very successful, okay? Sex irrelevant in tarot, you know, wealthy men, take that with a grain of salt, but yeah, it's um, number 13, that's pretty much you. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter, we're 13, that's just how it is, baby. We're 13 and we're death. But yeah, all that's telling me is that you have money in your own right. You have your own business. As you can see, he's um, depicted next to a, like a, that old school, what is that, ticker tape thing? 
Okay, in business, financial matters, financial business. Okay, you're good with money. You have money, that kind of thing. You have your own property, stuff like that. Okay, and you are just now getting out of this place of sense of imprisonment. All right, old ideas, old ideologies, stuff that you had to release yourself from, which was back over here. Okay, um, I'm going to pull something from here. All right, Scorpio, i got to wrap this up, honey. I, got, I know you want to know more. I want to know more, too. But it's in your future orientation is when you're going to know more. Okay, for now, you two are lingering in this space. If I can work with you, you can work with me. It's a strong connection, and neither one of you is completely cutting it out, but neither one of you is fully engaging in it. That's for now. I just know that's changing. It's like your energy towards this is, I got this. I got this. I know what to do. I'm not going to give too much of myself from this, but you haven't dismissed it either. I see no Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, or Death for either one of you. Neither one of you is interested in shutting this down. Like I said, there's a compromise energy here. Okay. I'm willing to compromise with Scorpio. You seem to be willing to compromise with them under any sort of premise. Okay. You haven't told them to fuck off. You haven't said fuck you. You haven't done any of that. Not that I can see. And if you have, then why are you still talking to them? Think about that. Show me why, please. <sighs> I know. But. Okay. Uh-oh. We need to let each other go. I feel you leaving me behind. I know that this person has told themselves that a thousand times, and yet it hadn't happened. We need to let each other go, but it hasn't happened. You've told yourself that. They've told themselves that. I feel you leaving me behind. And in a way, that's kind of true. Because energetically speaking, you're more prepared to enter the future into a new relationship energy. That's part of what's driving that, possibly. Especially if you're opening up to new adventures in relationships, which your energy is indicating that, yes, it is. I love you unconditionally. Yeah. I feel you leaving me behind. I know you two have likely said to let each other go God knows how many times, and how many times did that not happen? Like I said, not one ending card. It's more like a pep talk that's just not working. I feel you leaving me behind. I love you unconditionally. You know? Yeah, this is unconditional love here. Absolutely. Unconditional love at its finest. You were the best thing in my life. I wonder if you were happy without me. So there's a lot of yeah, so when you cut off the emotional supply, they don't really know what's going on with you. You were the best thing in my life. There's that kind of longing. Why didn't I take it further? I wonder if you were happy without me. I know this. You had to do one hell of a recovery job from this person. I see you opening up to being happy again. To being in a relationship again. As I was saying, do I have enough interruptions in this fucking video? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. My alarm cut off and that prompted, that triggered the, the recording. I'm so sorry. It's... I wonder if you're happy without me. Well... <clears throat> I know that Scorpio is happier with you with some pretext of knowing you, rather than not. And I know that because, again, they haven't closed anything out with you either. So if that helps you. You'd both rather be in each other's lives. You came closer than anyone. Mm -hmm. I know I messed up everything. Okay, that's enough. Scorpio. Just please know that this energy comes back very strongly. It looks like sometime around, possibly in the spring. <sighs> or at least on the premise of reconnecting with you in a more substantial way. Uh, it's looks like some kind of cycle is being prompted to open, which tells me something else might be closing. Okay. They have very strong feelings for you, and I just want again to point out or beg the question why another one of you has completely shut this down. That pretty much answers everything. Okay? Um, why this hasn't completely disengaged for either one of you. There's a reason for that. Lovers three times, six of cups like three times. So, 
Also, P.S. I'll point out you don't want it to. Neither do they. There's a reason why. The time will come. I wasn't expecting all this once more. I'm tired. <laughs> once more. I'm tired. <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, that's enough of that. Scorpio, I'll see you next time. Take care. Be well.